Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are starting a new campaign and a new game. I have not played Crusader Kings 3 on the channel. It's actually been a while since I played Crusader Kings, but because of the new DLC, which I am pretty interested in, I decided to jump in and uh, do a uh, series with it. So we are playing as Count Wifre the Harry. Uh, we have quite a few good traits. I picked him because he does have good prowess, and I think he will be fun for the tours and tournaments aspect. Um, and he is overall a pretty nice character. Um, it will also let us get involved in the Iberian struggle, potentially, or in the um, politics of West Francia. So, uh, I just like his character. We start out as a count. I always like to start out as a count because then you're not really managing too much and you can actually grow which is kind of fun you can grow little bits at a time slowly consolidate your power and do what you need to do but uh first things first we are going to pick a lifestyle focus uh, we already have some perks in marshall and that is where we get our best benefit so uh, i think i'm going to stick with that and i think i will go with the um chivalry focus and uh, looks like we are already going down the gallantry, so I'll probably keep working my way down there. Um, if we look at a couple of our other things, I could plan a tournament. That's going to be expensive, it looks like. I don't think that is going to be a thing to do immediately. Uh, we do need to get married as well, so I do tend to like to look for inheritable traits in my spouses and then I do like to go high on stewardship mostly because that would give us a chance to grow more if we chose to so I'm already looking and Adelaide it seems like a good choice she is a genius she's callous greedy and lazy which isn't great, but I'm definitely intrigued by the genius trait. I could also go for Vivania for Amazonian, but she is Greece. She's Greek. Um, a fecund giant would also be pretty neat of an idea. Zealous, lustful, and lazy. I will go with the genius. I just feel like genius is probably the best trade to go for right away. Uh, we are not going to hold a grand wedding. We're just going to send our proposal and go from there. Um, so we currently hold the county of Urgel, the county of Palace, and the county of Cerdanya. So we do have three counties to start with, which will give us some things to do. Um, I'm just going to skip these lessons. I kind of remember how to do the struggle and stuff, so we'll work through that as we need to. We got our chivalry focus going. We got our marriage proposal sent. Um, not sure what else I should be looking into doing. 488 levies, 5 knights, and we have 200 bowmen and 100 light footmen. We do have 104 gold to start with. Uh, our council... We have a pretty decent... Chancellor. A not-so-good marshal. A not-so-great spymaster. A not-so-great steward. And our bishop is... Alright. Uh, we are going to want to start working on... Let's start out just trying to sway him. And I am my liege's marshal, which is going to give us some nice bonuses. So, hopefully we can keep that around. And, uh, let's see here. Activities, royal court. We don't have a royal court decisions nothing really to do there no factions to deal with not really able to afford to do too many court positions or anything so we won't do anything with that so um I'm gonna do 
do we have any claims? We have claim on the Duchy of Gothia, so my brother is the Duke. We are, let's see, vengeful, ambitious, just, and patient. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try my best to roleplay with my traits, so since I'm patient, I'm not really gonna look to grow too much outside of um, we're just not going to look to grow too fast, too too strong. Um, I mostly, like I said, want to play the loyal game. We do have the position in our. Uh, is that my my liege, Duke Hugo of Anjou? No, okay, no. Um, so yes, we got ourselves a wife. And she likes us decently. Hopefully we can have some um, intelligent children. We're already quick, so we should at least get one of the intelligent traits in our air. And I'm just going to go up to speed 4. I do like to play Crusader Kings a little bit slower. Um, I think I want the money. Money will be good for us. And... Let's take a look. This is our castle holding. We could construct some buildings. Hillside grazing lands. Blacksmiths. Reduce cost for hosting grand tournaments. Station and arms damage. Night effectiveness. Stables. Militia camps. Barracks is. I think I probably want to go with what's going to make us money. So, just checking my various. I could go for a quarry. We already have a stone quarry here. Alright, so there is not really anything major that we could build, but uh, army movement speed, travel speed, extra levies, cavalry bonuses, superior mount travel option, joust horse race and melee contest in this holding. Cattle pastures. I'm going to go ahead and boost the forts in our capital. I think that is a worthwhile use of our money. And it looks like over here is where we do pilgrimages and hunting and stuff. Now we might jump in on that right away. Accept invitation. You're cordially invited to my hunt in the grasslands of Carcassonne. Together we shall make a mighty sport of it. Oh. Okay, I thought that was... Okay, so... You join Count... So who is this guy? He is our cousin. He is... Sadistic, fickle, and ambitious. So... We're also ambitious. We're ambitious and pa patient and just, though, so... Not too far away. I may not arrive to the hunt in time. We'll give it a shot. Let's go with the fast guy. And, um... Oh, 
will not arrive to the hunt in time. So I need to get myself a little bit faster if I'm going to do that. I could do this guy. He would make us a little faster. They're literally my fastest option, aren't they? Yes, they are. We're like looking at quite a few issues, so we're not going to arrive on time, so um, we're just going to decline the invite. I would have liked to have gotten into that, but it, if we're not going to arrive in time, there's no real point in doing it. Station men at arms regiments. I don't know exactly how that's going to go, so we're just going to do it. Station, you can see how much better it became underneath the portrait. Remember checking every now and then to see that your regiments are stationed in the optimal holdings. Especially important if you conquer and inherit new territories. Okay, so we need to play around with that. But we do have some family members that need to get married. So my brother is a zealous, chaste, honest man. Humble, calm, and compassionate. Let's get him a wife. And then my sisters. I do want to go matrilineal just to try and boost up the amount of people we have in our um, court. Um, going with prowess to see if we can get some better knights. She is 21, so I don't want to marry her to someone too old. And I would like to uh, marry her to someone who's also French. Ugh, not really too many options. Let's go by age. And then we can stay focused on people around her age. Honest, vengeful, and stubborn. You are stubborn, diligent, and humble. I mean, technically, we're Iberian, I guess. Yeah, we're Catalan, we're not French. Um, Wolfgang, Swabian, ah, uh, Irish. You know what? I, I'm going to go with this guy because he's a genius and more geniuses in our country would always be a fine idea. And you also need to be wed. You are also 20. Shy, trusting, and lazy. We'll go matrilineal on you as well. And I will go a little older on you simply because, well, he wouldn't join our court. You know, we'll just go with you. There we go. That's fine. We got some people involved. Let's get time moving a little bit more. We'll see if we can get somebody to help. We got our wife pregnant, so that is good. Our marriage proposals are going through. 
I'm in line to inherit titles. If my cousin were to die. So we'll see what happens with that. Keep working towards our chivalry focus. And yeah, like I said, we're part of the Kingdom of West Francia, which is nice because that'll protect us from a lot of the issues going on in Iberia, and we can also play in the Iberian struggle for a little bit if we want to. But I'm not sure how much I'm going to want to do that. There we go. We got a newborn son. He is intelligent. Um, Ramon de Barcelona. Borel. Sunfried. Alfredo Borel. Good Catalan name. Alvar Punk. Um. You know what? Let's go ahead and name him after ourselves. And uh, we'll make you a... We'll make you a martial focus character as well. Alright, education. I know how to do all that. That's fine. Skip these lessons. I can create an accolade. One of your knights, each knight that holds an accolade becomes a claimed knight and gives bonuses to you and your armies. Okay. Select your new accolades, acclaimed knight. The knight's skills and traits determine which accolade attributes are available. Valiant Marauder. First of the column. Cost prestige. We do have the prestige. He is my steward. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Just for fun, because we can. So, there we go. And, uh, yeah. Let's let things roll along a little bit. Yeah, we'll keep pushing for that. And I think... Let's just give it a shot. Let's let's do a hunt. Let's yeah, we'll just do a normal hunt and um, I'm not gonna go too far, but let's go into the mountains. I mean, I guess that's really our only option. Uh, let's go up into Andorra. So it'll be a nice short hunt. I'm not planning on spending too much money on it. And, um... Recreation, Slay Beast, Seduce, Befriend, Murder. We're just hunting for recreation. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and get things started. I'll be hosting a hunt in Andorra, and time has come for us to depart. I've no doubt I will soon be returning home covered in glory. It's true, there is nothing quite as good as an old-fashioned hunt. I can't wait. So there we go, we are going up into Andorra. 
As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. The gamekeepers check the highlands each day for signs of quarry while establishing a camp closer to the hunting grounds. I've checked my gear and horses many times. It won't be long now. two days until it begins. Here we go. My hunt is about to begin, and I am yet to name a master of the hunt. I could, of course, take on such responsibilities myself, but every good count should know when to delegate. By far, the most qualified man for the job is my brother-in-law, Guillermo, who I just married to my sister. He was honest, so probably not a bad choice. My brother would also make a decent candidate. Um, we'll go ahead and appoint him. That's fine. Alright, so let's let things move along again. Alright, so Guillermo, your master of the hunt, summons the party to gather as the light reaches the camp the slopes near and door. After piecing together information from the few local gamekeepers, there is some talk about tracks and fumes nearby. A stout buck is definitely in the area, and conditions could hardly be better for hunting it. Immigrants, this ought to be good fun. Let's get out there. I want to hunt something with them. A wolf or a fox. I'd rather flush out a fox. Let's just get out there and hunt. 42 days until it ends. We found raptor eggs. Galloping through the sparse pines, following the calls of the horns and baying of the dogs, Count Sunir at last separates himself from the rest of the party. He halts for a moment, pondering at which course to take. I glance around serendipitously. This might be the best opportunity I get. I could kill my cousin, rival, and spy master. I can bide my time. I am vengeful, though. Hmm. He is my rival, so... You know what? Let's see if I can do it. <laughs> I make my horse move as quickly as I can, dashing on Count Sunir from the side in an attempt to unhorse him. Count Griefre. I totally botched that. Giuffre. Ah, what are you? Sunir tumbles from his horse down into the rocks as quickly as I dismount. The deed is done before he can collect himself, and, the on and any unlucker would find it hard to determine the cause of the mess. Alright, so with the tragic death of Count Sunir, who fell from his horse while hunting, it has been decided that we will be called off, and the party will return home. We will just have to wait for the next one. It's a dangerous pastime. So, I guess that's a good bonus. We got rid of our rival already. Danger sticks in the wheel. Brook, I hear Adelaide shout out in panic. Soon thereafter, I hear a loud cracking sound, like that of wood breaking or my patience finally snapping. I step out on the gravel to see a splintered remains of a wagon wheel. My wagon wheel. I'm sorry, my husband. It's my turn as the lookout, and I fell as deep at the reins. We're going to be late, or... Shuffle the supplies around. I'll ride rough from now on. Um, we'll just delay ourselves. That's fine. And there we go. We get home. Everything is good. And uh, there we go, we took care of a hunt, we got rid of our rival. Could declare wars, but no one really seems ripe for the picking. Unless I want to go after my cousin over here. He's shy, content, and lazy. He controls both of those counties, huh? I could take both of them from him. It would cost us quite a bit of piety, which we do not have. 
So we could also just go for my claims, go for one of them, take one province. It would be close though, because even though I have more troops than him, it's not a significant advantage, so maybe we'll just hold off for now. The court is going on tour, and I shall soon be visiting Urgle to inspect your castle and lands. The lords and ladies of Gothi will render the tithes owed to me. I expect a welcome befitting a duke. Let's see to the preparations. Duke Bernat arrives. At last, Duke Bernat and Entourage arrives at my gates, visiting Urgle on his tour of Gothia. The copper wagon and litany of tax collectors suggest I will be poor for this visit. It is about time that miserable churl came down from his dreary halls and saw some of the real country. I am to give the Duke a tour of my castle and Urgelian lands and furnish his party with beds and entertainment. The only question is, do I open the gates and let him in? Well, we'll let him in. So, he comes in. I am hosting. Extra clergy tax. Some bonuses. Bernat of Gothia has seemed a little distant and distracted lately, occasionally muttering to himself and whispering to Manel. At last he approaches me directly and says outright what is on his mind. As a count, you must be aware of your financial obligations to me as your liege. When I look around at all the grandeur of your home, I cannot help but feel you cheated your taxes a little. Perhaps we had better rectify this. So I can lose 10 opinion of him and give him 50 gold. My control level will go up and the grand tour will become more avaricious. Or he can I can let him gain opinion of me. Um It's only twenty nine percent chance I would succeed. I believe I've been an extremely gracious host to my visiting liege so far. The visit to my castle, in particular, has been going great until I make a wrong turn and drop my eager lord right in front of the only door I was trying to keep him away from. My secret stash of food, gold pieces, and generally expensive goods. As I start nervously stammering, Duke Burnett grows increasingly curious. Gain hidden assets. Pay 75 gold for him to look away. In possessions, you might get extra taxes. Gain a weak hook on him. Secret stash ignored. It's gained a favor on me. Disappointing. I have been meticulous in showing my liege all the magnificent sights to behold in my barony of Urgal, believing myself to be a great host. However, I noticed him turning his attention to my living quarters and gesturing at it whilst mumbling something to himself. I probe him and he grins. Ah, I was just counting the windows. You're aware of the mandatory window tax, are you not? It dates back to the very foundation of the Duchy of Gothia, and I couldn't possibly let such an unreasonable number of windows go without proper taxation. I guess I will pay my window tax. It's time for Duke Bemat of Gothia to part, and I must say I feel I have been a magnanimous host. However, it seems that Dirk Bernat did not believe that my hosting was enough and has made a demand of me. He has printed me with a bill of all expenses paid during his trip, though many of the charges seem bogus I am obliged to pay. 
I don't have the money, so... Time to part, let's go away with Magnus Host. I will do no such thing. Alright, yeah, after after that. Comfort from a friend. Let's lose some stress. I'm just so murdering him is not an option. But I am definitely not happy about it. And he does have a reason to imprison me now, which is pretty annoying. So we did get ourselves a new Marshall Park. Let's take that. Uh, we are just going to go with... We'll go with loyalty and respect. And, uh, yeah, so I do think that's a good place to end the episode. Crusader Kings is a little bit slower game the way I like to play it. I like to go little by little. Um, but uh, if you like the series, I would appreciate a like. If you are um, really liking the video, I'd appreciate a subscription. And I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.